YouTube friends. My name is Constance and this is Cruelty Free Musings. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, let's just get the obvious out of the way real quickly. Um, I have fallen off the wagon. Not so much with recording as much as with editing and actually uploading my videos to YouTube. So, also, uh, my hair is purple. Uh, if you see a little bit of purple haze around my hairline, that's because I dyed it today. Uh, I had it professionally colored, and then I decided that I liked it. So I got the stuff to re-up my color at home. I like it. I love that I can wear a ton of blush or at least more blush than I could when I was blonde. So let's jump into the business of today's project pan update. This is going to be the finale for Partners in Cream. This Partners in Cream is a collaborative project pan that was started by Steph of Steph Lyons and Dolan of, oh goodness, Outward Processing. I just about needed to go and check my notes. Dolan, I'm sorry. I'm, I have not been watching makeup videos and I have not been watching panning. Uh, yeah, I just haven't been watching makeup videos recently. So I am out of the frame of all of the people that I used to have at the tip of my tongue. So. Uh, this was a collaborative project pan started by Steph Lyons and Dalin, and uh, the concept is we have project pans for powder items because you can hit pan in them, it means something, but it's a lot uh, less frequent to have project pans that are dedicated to using up cream items, and in a lot of ways, cream products need the dedicated focus more because they go bad, right? They dry out, they're wet so they get moldy, they have a shorter shelf life just in general, so they need the love as much as the powder products do, even though it's way more satisfying to hit pan on a powder because you know that you can't just dig to the bottom of that powder the way that you can with a, with a cream product. So, um, it's easier to hit pan on cream products, but that doesn't mean that I'm, sometimes they don't get as much love. So, uh, the, the concept is, uh, you have three up to about six items and, um, it's a rolling project pen, rolling year long. I think that it was intended to go more than a year, just basically as long as people were interested in keeping it up. I think that I'll be interested in keeping it up next year. I was thinking that, you know, at the midpoint, oh gosh, I don't know if I'll have enough cream products to actually do this for another year. And then I kept buying stuff. So it turns out that I have enough cream products to make it to next year. So don't, yeah, not to worry. So I'll definitely uh, keep going with this project, even if it's not collaborative anymore, which once again, have not been watching my panning videos. So I don't know, I'm out of the loop. All right, but let's jump into it where I was at the last update that I recorded, which was a smush together of updates six and seven, because I didn't record it all in June. Most people had a period in like April, May, where they stopped wearing makeup. For me, that period was in June. So uh, June and July, I smushed together, and then I recorded an update in August, and I just never posted it. So um, I have sorted out uh, what I had at that point, and I will give you those updates again. First item is a Super Shock ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Uh, this is in the shade Frog. Um, 
I use this, let me see, four times. Let's see. All right, that was the update that I actually recorded. So I used this six times in, um, in like August, September. And then I used this four times since then, since the last video that I recorded and never edited and uploaded. So nine times since the last time I, I posted about it and 13 times total. Um, and you can see that I have not hit pen. Uh, to remind you, my goal for the Super Shock Shadows is always to expose the entire little nubbin in the center of the pan, and I am nowhere close. Um, although I have worn away most of the patterning around the edge. So, oh, progress. Yeah, this one is a pretty... Uh, is a pretty dry formula. It tends to apply better with uh, with my finger. It's an ultra glitter, which I love that finish. It's so sparkly. And this one is a super interesting. It has like a lavender and a pink and a silver sparkle to it. So I really like this, um, this super shock shadow, but obviously I've not hit pan on it at all. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how it's ending the year for me. Um, next item that I still had in the last time that I, uh, posted, uh, was this, uh, J cat prismetal mousse. This is in, come on, focus. This is in the shade champagne whiz. You can see that I have hit a nice clear pan in that. Um, that took me four uses after I recorded uh, my last update. So this one I rolled out in the video that I did not post and I will update you on that. But this one, the Champagne Whiz, was a success. Uh, next item, this is my ABH Dip Brow. I was at 15 uses uh, out of 30. This was a use goal rather than as a uh, hit pan goal. Thank goodness, because it was basically new when I rolled it in. So I was at 15 of 30 uh, after recording in July and then, or August, I don't remember, months or something, that last one that I posted. And then I used it twice after that one. And then since, um, since I recorded that video, I used it six more times. So, um, that's a total of eight uses since, uh, eight uses since the last time that I posted a video, eight plus 15 is not 30. Uh, I believe it's 23. So I'm a little bit short on my use goal, not successful. Darn it. Um, and then next item that I had updated you on. I've had the, I had this in for several months. This is another ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Flower Shop. And the issue with this one is that I don't like it very much. It's not just the, the formula, although it is the formula a little bit, it is starting to dry out. It's also, um, the color. I'm not a blue person. And even though this has a strong green shift, being a teal, I still don't like it very much. So I used this once. Not once in between the last update video and, and then another. No, 
once, one total time since the last time that I posted a video to YouTube. And obviously you can see that I'm nowhere near hitting pen on it. I am a little bit undecided on that uh, because, you know, I didn't use it at all. So I'm almost thinking that maybe I'll get rid of it entirely rather than, um, you know, roll it into another project pan next year just because it was really, 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 really unsuccessful to use that. Um, but we'll see. Um, at any rate, I was unsuccessful at hitting pan on that. So, so far, we're one out of four. And then I rolled in this item, um, which is my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This used to be the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, and it used to come in a little squeezy tube, and now it has a doe foot. Uh, so it's basically a rebrand. This is in the shade 10 and Fair, and the net weight is 6.4 grams. I originally weighed this and it was 26 grams, then uh, after my last, yeah, so when I rolled it in, it was 26 grams. Then at the last update, which I did not post, it was 25 grams and I had used it seven times. Uh, since then, um, I've used it 16 times. Now, I didn't weigh it this morning, um, so I'm not sure how much it actually weighs. I do know that I have to kind of dig and swirl a little bit in the container. I think that that's probably a formula thing, like I've used it I mean, in the project, I've used it 20 times, but I'd only used it a handful of times before that, like maybe 10. So, like, I really don't think that this is a concealer that has only 20 uses in it. You know, six, um, what is it, six point, six point four grams is a lot of concealer. It's twice this, uh, this concealer that I had in my New Decade project pan. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. It's three grams. Now I don't have any problem using that up. It takes about six months, but this is twice that. And I have not been using it as consistently. And so like, I don't think that I'm anywhere near the end of this, but my goal was really just to use it more. And I think I have achieved that at least. Um, I do like it as a concealer. It matches, uh, the shade 10 and fair matches my skin really well. So that, uh, gives you a ballpark of how exactly pale I am. Um, and then, uh, it tends to be a little bit sticky, but I just set it down with a little bit of powder so that my mascara doesn't transfer onto it and stuff. And so that it doesn't, you know, immediately leave the first time that I blow my nose. Um, but yeah, I, I like using it. It matches my skin well. Um, I'll use it here in the center of my face on my nose, which tends to be red. And on my chin, which tends to be red and have a little bit of acne. Uh, as well as under my eyes, obviously, which are my my main problem spot so i'll use this as you know a foundation basically um and one dip uh, does all of that so this is a fine concealer and i will continue to use it and i was successful at using it more we'll put that in the successes column all right um, next. All right. So next, um, uh, the next update, obviously I rolled out the, um, 
J-Cat. Prismetal Moose and Champagne Whiz. There we go. Brain. It took a minute. Um, so I rolled in a mini lip gloss. This is the Buxom Full-On Lip Polish in Dolly. Uh, so there's a little nail polish marking it. Let's see. Yeah, so you can see that. It was pretty low. And I put it in to force myself to use it up. And I said, this is the goal, force myself to use it up. I did. It took all of eight uses to use this up. So good job, me. And then obviously I didn't record, then I, I, I mean, you never saw the, the update where I actually rolled this in, um, but I never recorded another update after that. So I was thinking about rolling in this Super Shock Shadow to replace it. This is an ultra glitter in the shade Prickly Pear. Um, and for all that it has most of its texture still, I really like this. Wow, okay, refocusing. Yep, okay. For all that it has most of its texture still, this is one of my favorite one shadow looks. Like if I'm gonna just smush something all over my eye, this is a great one. I used it a little bit. I put it in with my um, uh, with my items that I was trying to pan, and I used it a little bit, but I didn't actually record an update, so I didn't write anything down. So I have no idea how much I've used it. Um, but I've used it overall less than I've used Frog, um, which makes sense because uh, Frog was in this project for multiple updates. Um, and it's starting to have a little bit of a divot where there's about the same amount of wear on the surface of this, um, but it doesn't have the divot in the middle. I like pairing these, um, so this is a, um, you know, is a shadow all over the lid. Even though it's an ultra glitter, yes, I am that person that will just chuck a glitter shadow all over her lid. Yes, it's a date wear. No, it's totally normal. I like glitter, that's all. So, um... So I'll chuck this all over my eye, um, you know, out to um, where I wing out my eye a little bit to define the shape, and then I'll throw this in the inner third as a little bit of a brightener, especially if I'm wearing glasses, it opens my eyes a little bit more. So I really like pairing those two for that reason. So, um... Yeah, that's uh, that's where I stand on um, the items that I had in as of the last update. I have three successes and four ish, you know, four failure ish. Um, so prismetal, I hit moose. I hit prismetal moose. I hit pan on uh, this concealer. I used more. Uh, this lip gloss I used up. Woo! And then, because this is a finale, let's go ahead and tell you how I did overall. I hit pan on one, two, three, four, five items. Uh, if my hands are a little bit purple still, that's because I dyed my hair. Sorry, um, I'm noticing a little bit of purple on camera. Denatured alcohol works really well, but it doesn't get everything. So, um, I hit pan on a highlighter. It's the Steel of Heaven's Hue in Opulence. Uh, it's still a really good highlighter, nice putty highlighter. I love hitting pan on highlighters, it's so satisfying. Um, then I hit pan on uh, two Super Shock shadows. I hit pan on Moonwalk, 
which I actually have here, Moonwalk. Um, so this is a green that shifts red, or a red that shifts greeny gold. It's pretty. Um, I like to put it over a, uh, you know, put it over a shadow that has one of the colors to play up the other. And I hit Pan in uh, Birthday Wish. Another ultra glitter. What can I say? I have a type of Super Shock Shadow that I like. And it's the glitter, in case you missed it. Um, so I hit Pan on those two. And I hit Pan on this other uh, Prismetal Mousse in Sorcerer. And uh, the main, you know, the big difference between uh, these two uh, shadows for me is that the formula is quite different. This um, Sorcerer, this dark purple, is a lot drier. It, um, it's not as shiny, and yet it doesn't work well as a base. So this one, uh, I might just get rid of it if you like blending it out at the edges it turns gray it's just it's a it's a color that you want to build up but then uh the finish is just a satin so it's not even worth building up kind of so that one i'm probably going to get rid of entirely um but i did hit pin on it i was successful as well as hitting pan on this, which uh, this is another really good one shadow look for me. Just like smush it all over the lid. And then the last thing that I hit pan on that I haven't shown you yet is the Steel of Heaven's Hue and Opulence, um, which there's that um, little shiny bit of pan right there at the bottom in a weird shape. I have no idea how I hit pan there, but I guess, I mean, I'm going to take it. Let's be real. So this is in my current shop mustache. Uh, it's still, still a favorite highlighter. Still like it. Um, so, uh, of the, let's see. So I've had five super shock shadows in this pan and I have hit pan on two of them. I've had two uh, Prismetal Mousse from J-Cat in this pan, and I've hit pan on both of them. And then I used up a lip gloss, and I used a concealer more success, um, and I uh, used up to steal a glitter and glows. So, total successes, um, five pounds, uh, and three items used up. Eight items. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I was thinking coming into this, uh, recording session that I was going to be not thrilled with how I did on this, but I think overall it was a really, um, it was a really successful project and I will definitely be, and it stopped recording, I will definitely be, uh, recording new episodes, uh, of a new series of Partners in Cream next year as well. So with that, I hope you enjoyed or learned something or both. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like. And goodbye for now.